Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we look at the transition from fossil fuel coal to clean renewable energy in wind, solar and battery storage. We look at the challenges facing China and the USA and we look at which stocks might be worth investing in. So let's start with the challenges facing the USA. At the moment, the US grid connects to 7,300 power plants. It runs 160,000 miles of high voltage transmission lines, and it coordinates with 3,000 electric utility companies, and it powers around 160 million customers. So what are the problems? Well, problem one is that the grid is outdated because it was made for fossil fuel. Problem number two, many of the 3,000 electric utility companies are risk averse to change across the 50 states to running a more efficient system. Problem three is that the country needs to move away from pika plants. Pika plants are power plants that are kept running in reserve and ready to come online and meet peak demand as and when they are required. They are very inefficient and very expensive. Problem four is moving to 100% renewable power, which is extremely expensive. It will cost $4.5 trillion to decarbonize the system, and it will take between 10 to 20 years. We know from experience in dealing with moving from internal combustion cars to electric cars that there has been a big challenge, and powering energy is no exception. There are many large corporations that fund politicians and they stand to lose billions of dollars if we move over to clean energy and they're dragging their feet, kicking and screaming. So what about China? Well, there are many parts of China where coal was once mined, where the water table is now poisoned and the land has subsided and the land remains derelict and abandoned. There are large settlements that are still trapped in smog and appear in news reports even today. In 2013, it was reported that seven out of 13 cities with the worst air pollution were in China. The University of California, Berkeley, estimates that 1.6 million citizens die each year from air pollution at a cost of half a billion dollars to the Chinese economy. So now we know the challenges. What is China? and the United States of America doing? Well, China has committed to tackling climate change and the, new, the newly elected Biden administration passed a bipartisan infrastructure bill, which includes tackling climate change. So something is happening, which is positive. I guess if you were going to break down which areas you could invest in renewable energy stocks, you could break it down into the following sectors. The first one you would start with is raw materials like lithium, nickel and cobalt used for making batteries. Two examples of such companies that supply these materials are Rio Tinto, which produces lithium, iron ore and copper for batteries, and Talon Metals, a smaller company that just signed a six year contract to provide nickel concentrates to Tesla. If we dig deeper, we can see which companies are making batteries for electric vehicles. They include CATL, LG Electronics and Panasonic, amongst many other companies. But it's not just batteries for electric cars that you can invest in. Remember, the wind does not blow all the time and the sun does not shine either all the time. So these large batteries are capable of capturing and storing this excess energy and then they're able to release it to the national grid or individually provide it to a large city, town or dwelling. Companies doing this include BYD, Samsung, GE Energy, Tesla and LG Chem. There are massive projects taking shape with Tesla in California and Australia, for example, supporting the national grid.
apart from the solar panel companies and the wind turbine companies that generate clean energy, you can also invest in companies like General Electric, Cisco and Intel, which make software for smart devices and save energy. So guys, finally, let me know, are you investing in renewable energy that is saving the planet? Or are you guilty of still investing in fossil fuel companies that are destroying the planet? Let me know what you think. Stay safe and see you in the next one.